Hi, it's Commander Galactic Bacon here. I want to welcome you to my channel and I hope you're all staying well in the current lockdown. I know it's a tough time for everyone uh, at the moment, but I hope you're doing okay and maybe it's given you a little bit extra time uh, to learn this game. Uh, now, before we get into things, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I started this channel about three years ago. Uh, I didn't really have a clear focus and I didn't start uploading regularly until November last year. And in that time, the channel has grown steadily. And last week, uh, I reached 1,000 subscribers, uh, which I'm obviously really pleased about and I didn't think I'd ever get there. So a big thank you uh, once again to everyone who subscribed. Uh, now, if you've been following the rest of my channel, uh, my Elite Dangerous Beginner series up until now, you'll know I've been flying around in a hauler for many of these tutorials. Well, I'm planning to upgrade to another ship soon uh, to continue some other tutorials, but before I do that, I thought I'd make a couple of videos on different types of loadout for the hauler. Uh, so today I'm going to try and get the best hauler trader load loadout for my money. Uh, now, the hauler is not the best trading ship in the game. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, for trading you need a lot of cargo space uh, and uh, the hauler is a small ship. Uh, there's no getting away with that, it has major limitations. But when you're starting out in the game, maybe you don't have a lot of money uh, to buy a new ship or buy more equipment, the hauler is a perfectly good ship to get started with uh, trading, uh, assuming that you equip it uh, correctly. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, before you equip any ship, I, I recommend uh, always going to a high-tech system. And the reason for that is that is where you will get the best equipment. And it saves you time in the long run from having to jump from system to system looking for uh, better equipment. So if you find a good station, it's it's always worth bookmarking these places as well. Um, now, if you're not sure how to find a high-tech system, uh, what you do is in your navigation panel, I have explained this in more detail in other videos, but you go into your navigation panel, galaxy map, uh, go to your filter, uh, filter for high-tech under economy. So you go to economy, filter for high-tech, and all the blue stars that are showing in the map are all the high-tech systems. So pick a system and then what you want to do is find the, you know, go to the main stations in that system, uh, the starports, because that's where you're going to get your best uh, equipment. Um, so once you're there and you've found a, a decent uh, system, we're going to the outfitting menu. Uh, I'm going to start with my internals to begin with. Uh, now this ship uh, was equipped for um, mining previously and so I have uh, a number of items here related to mining. They're not going to be any use to us uh, if we're going to be doing trading. And uh, so our largest slots in this ship we have two class three slots for cargo. I'm going to keep those as they are and I'm going to get rid of some of the other stuff. Um, so we're going to try and maximise our cargo space. But the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at if there are ways that we can reduce the weight of our ship and maybe increase our jump range if that is possible um, as well, which is going to help us in the long run if we're focusing on trading. So I'm going to get rid of this refinery to begin with. Um, I'm not going to need it for a while, so I'm going to sell this and get the cash. Uh, I'm going to keep my shield generator. Uh, detailed surface scanner we don't need. I'm going to uh, store that uh, because they are quite expensive. Uh, I don't need a frame shift interdictor. Uh, can I sell that? Yeah, I'm going to sell that one. And keep everything as it is. Okay. Now, if we start with the largest slot that we have available first, uh, let's look at 
this class 2 slot and see what we can find to fit in there. So in the cargo racks we have a 2A rack which is going to give us a capacity of 4. So we're going to buy one of those. Okay, uh, now we might be able to make use of some of these other slots here. So we have class 1 slots. Let's see if we can get a, yeah, we can get a cargo rack to fit in there. And we got another cargo rack for our other class 1. Okay, so what's our capacity now? Uh, we've got 8, 12, 14, 16, is that correct? Uh, if you want to double check your cargo, go over to my inventory. Uh, 24. Must have miscounted. So we've got 24 cargo capacity, which is pretty good. Uh, right, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, so we've got 8 plus 8, 16, 20, yeah, 24. Uh, so let's go back to internals. See if there's anything we can lose here. Um, not really. Uh, if you want to take a risk, you could get rid of your shield generator. Uh, again, yeah, I mean, you're not going to survive if you end up in combat or even if you... Yeah, bump your ship or something like that without your shield uh, you're going to come to a nasty end so probably not a good idea to get rid of that uh, I'm going to keep that in place uh, let's see uh, now there may be items here that we might be able to swap out that uh, are making our ship a little bit heavier than it needs to be so we could increase our jump range possibly uh, so, right, so what's our jump range at the moment? Uh, it's unloaded 27 light years, bottom. Uh, let's see if we can improve on that. So we've got our power distributor. It's a 1D. I wonder if there's anything better than that <coughs> that may improve our jump range uh, let's see one B not yeah I don't think we're going to make any saving there I think the one D is probably the best we're going to get let's have a look at the frame shift drive We've got a 2A, so we can't improve on that. Uh, let's have a look at our thrusters. So. No. No, I don't think we're going to really improve. Well, uh, let's have a look at the power plant. Got a 2C in place at the moment. Ah, we can make a slight improvement with a 2D and a 2A. Yeah, a 2A is going to be more expensive for trading. You're, you're not really going to need a, a much more powerful uh, you know, power plant. So if we swap that out for the 2D and let's see, I'll just exchange those. A bit more cash. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Sensors. Um, 
alloys. I'm not sure we really want to mess about with that. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna save anything there. Uh, okay. Fuel tank. Uh, yeah, you would get a very slight saving by going to a smaller fuel tank, but you know, with a capacity of four, that is very small as it is. So, I would not advise uh, touching that. So, we have then uh, we've got a ship that's going to do uh, you know fully loaded with cargo. Uh, 24 light years which is not bad that's going to uh, help you travel across uh, at least the bubble uh, inhabited space fairly quickly you'll be able to go quite a bit of distance uh, with fewer jumps and so I think that loadout is pretty good as a, a trading ship um, the only other things we may be able to look at are maybe the hard points I would uh, advise changing the laser. Um, now I've got a pulse laser at the moment. Uh, would it benefit us changing that to something else? Oh, well, let's have a look and see. Um, No, I don't think that's that's not going to help us very much. Um, so that's my trading ship. Uh, you may be able to do better than that, uh, but maybe give you a start. And uh, for the hauler, it's probably going to be your your best bet. So we have what was it, twenty four cargo capacity? I think it was. Yeah, twenty four cargo and twenty four light years. Uh, jump range. So I th hope you find that helpful today and uh, if you're just starting out in Elite Dangerous looking for some guidance you should also check out my Beginner's Guide playlist and I'm going to show that in the top right hand corner now. And also if you would like to be notified about future videos please subscribe, click the bell icon below, check out the description as well for other videos and feel free to leave any questions in the comments. Um, uh, that would be great. So thanks for watching and fly safe and I'll see you next time.